that. Oh, no, the, okay, that is it, yeah. Here we are. So Germ's probably up here, yep. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Welp. I mean, no guard breaks don't work on him. I'm going to try it anyway. No, oh, but it doesn't even make him flinch. Yeah, that is really weird and really frustrating. Try to a lightning spear, maybe? It would just do the same thing. Well, it might do more. More damage. Maybe, but... Well... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it didn't even. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to chip away at the guy. Yeah. That's what the elemental stuff is for. So, how are you all doing? <laughs> Goblin wheel! Goblin <laughs> deal! <laughs> We're gonna have an intermission tonight. <laughs> Last about five minutes. <laughs> sure reminds me of an anime that I watched once where a enemy actually had something that was put across as the impenetrable shield and the main character who was stupidly shown in basically decided, oh, in that case I just need to break it. <laughs> I was actually trying to check what that said, but... Regret. Yeah, but there I, is no regret. Yeah, Twinkies are pretty are rare in this game. Oh, Zane's doing okay. Ooh. I, I, that stuff is everywhere. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of Undertale, but I definitely I can't. I dropped, yeah. yeah, I definitely can't begrudge anyone who, who does like it. Yeah. Yeah, one of my friends tried to get me into it, and honestly seemed a little bit baffled that I wasn't immediately going, yes, I need this game in my life. <laughs> uh, that's all in this area, though, that's right? That's it, yeah. So I'll go ahead and just teleport back. Mm -hmm. Actually... Yeah, not too far away from the uh, the bonfire. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Oof. <laughs> there you go, your knees. What, was that Sword Art Online? Hmm. If that is a reference, Pyrie, I am not familiar with it. Oh, I think that... Uh, oh, what you're what you're referring to, yeah. Uh, no, it was not Sword Art, Sword Art Online. I will not actually mention what series it was for fear of being judged by everybody. <laughs> it was through here, though, wasn't it? Should be. Yeah. You're being pursued. <laughs> so I wanted to let it live. <laughs> okay. 19,000, that is not enough to get us a level, I don't think. I think it would be, but we can keep, you can keep going for a bit. I mean, we're almost done with this, uh, with, with well, this part. Well, it's 1020, so I need to be backing it in pretty okay. soon. Okay, then I will get us the next bonfire, then. Okay. All right, in that case, we were switching off to Wayne. Well, it was Berserk. <laughs> it was not Berserk. <laughs> Although I can't imagine Guts being the kind of person to you know, just break through stuff. We are still, uh, we are at 770k. Uh, let's go ahead and try using the, uh, this while we're still in the covenant anyway. And... Uh, yes. Zane, you do not need to watch Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. Um, it's the sort of thing where if you really oh. want to, I will not stop you, but, you know, I kind of feel like it's my duty to let people know that I do not in necessarily endorse. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a, a, men a mention of the product is not a recommendation. Right. Um, that said, like Fi uh, Pyre said, you may like it. Mm -hmm. uh, at least one of my friends liked it enough that she, you know, RPs as one of the main characters, so... Ooh, a Garam Great Shield. So then we also do, does not have the strength to use. Yay! Actually, you got to the bonfire at the end of this level, I thought, didn't you? Oh, Zane, that is a one-word question with a many-word answer. <laughs> um, okay. It, it does get into really weird territory. Like, really weird. Well, let's see if we can get that that uh and not as bad as in the manga, I don't Ooh. think, but yeah. Oh, you're talking about the the anime? Didn't yeah. that, didn't that only go for one season, I right? think so. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, Pyro is also of the hypothesis. Oh. Hypothesis: The people's opinion of Undertale and Homestuck are highly correlated. I could actually see that. They seem to be fairly similar. Uh, yeah, I I had been told that it was basically Earthbound meets uh, Homestuck, and neither one of those appealed to me. But having having read the LP, it's like I can see why people like it. Actually, it's just not for me. Right. That said, you know, at least two people have been insisting that I try it, you know, as either a stream or an LP. So I may end up doing it just to see what all of the hubbub is. Darg. I thought for sure you're going to follow it right down. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just 26 episodes of Berserk. That's right. Yeah. Honestly, I have never seen Fist of the North Star. <laughs> I can neither. I can't really say anything about it. And some of those shows have gotten ridiculous. Right. I remember some people that were fans of uh, of One Piece when it first started. It's funny, that's, that's like, the one I was just about to give yeah, an example. That's like a gazillion years long now. <laughs> yeah, I will admit, one person recommended One Piece to me. And I started watching, I think, about ten or so episodes. And I said, okay, how long am I going to be here? And then I found out. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, and then I, I said, no. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, one reason why I, I don't... Well, I say the two reasons I don't watch anime anymore. One of them was because I was trying trying to get good with a girl that was anime club, you know. But the other reason oh, the is truth just, comes out. I didn't yes. know about this. Uh, one reason, the other reason is that it, you know, just it brought all the shows that you know I liked were either just you know they ended abruptly, you know, like half a season or something like that, right. or they just went on forever, right. you know, long past the point of of interest. Yeah. So, yeah, I can definitely see that. Anyway. Also, Zane, uh, I'll probably get it for you if you want. Uh, to whom and to what are you referring? Oh. Uh, because we just went through a lot of different conversations. <laughs> I'm not sure where we were when you said right, that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Zane said what I just said. You know. <laughs> they never end like their endings are not endings. Unless, unless... There are, like, there was one called uh, Blue Exorcist, or I don't know, uh, Exorcist. And it ended, like, it had an actual ending, but the ending was incredibly stupid. <laughs> All you need to know is that Kawhi Satan Chan just needed a hug. <laughs> Period. <laughs> if I had known that at the start, I would not have gotten invested. Oh, in it. dear. <sighs> um, that said, if you're seriously. Oh, I Oh, oh, you was... managed to not die. <laughs> to absolutely you no fault of my of, own. You have the devil's own luck, <laughs> speaking of. Um, and honestly, Zane, if you're honestly... If you're honestly, honestly offering... <laughs> if you are really offering, then I would definitely take you up on that. Because I've been a little bit iffy about it, but you know, some people have asked me for it. And, you know, like uh, Wayne has said several times... Uh, we do take requests. I don't know when we would get to it, to be fair. Oh, hey. But I would definitely be up for trying it. And yes, Pyre, anime endings come in two flavors, non-existent, stupid. <laughs> um, there are one or two I can think of where I actually like the endings. But, you know. Um, and Zane, have I seen D. Gray Man? The answer is no. Have I read some of the manga? Yes. Have I been spoiled to flipping death about it? Absolutely. <laughs> it's one of those series where I can actually hold cogent conversations for a long time, even though I've never actually delved that much into it. All right, Kuden, are we going to be uh, farming the skeleton lords? Okay, we're doing the chariot. And yeah, the way uh, it ends, the big bad is uh, still a bit ba a big batting and wondering why he didn't kill the main character back when he was a kid. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Vex, I've watched a few anime, but only a handful now is quite some time ago. It is mm. one of those things that's really easy to, um, to kind of lose track of. The other thing, too, is that at least recently, I just have not encountered any that really grabbed my attention. So... Ooh, I was about to save that guy's life there, I think. <laughs> Don't, because the way it ends is such a GD cop-out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright. Uh, this is taking me back to back in the day when we would always be wearing, uh, we had the white ring on. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, Zane says he loves Fooly Cooly. <laughs> oh, suddenly I'm like, you can't see if I'm like recoiling from the screen. It's like I will not accept any gift from you. I don't know what taint it has. <laughs> no, actually, I haven't actually seen more than a little bit of Fooly Cooly. Um, I didn't particularly find it that, as one of my friends would say, it didn't seem like it would be my jam. <laughs> Your guy's hesitance to curse on stream is amusing. Like, Wayne actually was joking about that. It's like we play really violent games, but we don't swear. Yeah, yeah family, fr family friendly language, family unfriendly games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's just this part of our upbringing. It's part of what makes us our quirky individual selves. Mm. Yep. I yeah. I don't. I don't. Know, I don't cuss at all. And Ben Ben saves it for for important occasions. <laughs> I don't think I've. I'm trying to think the last time that I did. <laughs> huh. Oh ah. Well. <laughs> I can give that. Trigon was all right. Yeah, I, th yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoop! Let's put the sign back down and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I try not to curse in my let's plays. I still fail at it. I totally understand, Zan. And, and, and don't get me wrong. It's like a lot of people think that once I mention that, or like I also mentioned, I'm straight edge and stuff. Right. That uh, they think that there's some kind of implicit condemnation of people that aren't. No, no. You guys can say what you want, and you guys can do what you want. That's okay. <laughs> I'm the one that's actually in the corner judging you. For right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back, Sway. Uh, yes, ironically, we may curse where less. Also, ironically, in the worst way, uh, <laughs> I have several friends that confess that they swear more around me. <laughs> and I'll go, thanks? <laughs> Yeah, I can agree with that, Vex. Mm. It did have kind of a hollow feeling, Dragon did at the end. It's one of the... Yeah, it just gets... It was kind of the time, same time period as even Evangelion, I think. Just like everything got weird, you know, right. in, in, uh, in uh, anime. Yeah, one of my friends was huge into it. As I think he was, I think he was just a fan of those, like, uh, the Western kind of things, because he also liked uh, Cowboy Bebop, which, uh, which was, of course, you know, Space Western. Right. And uh, what was the other one? Um, Gungrave, you know, which was, I guess, modern Western. <laughs> it had tough guys and guns. I mean, that's. <laughs> also, Zane, I am also a bad judgmental person, so you get a, uh, a high five from <laughs> across the internet. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Lorax, you would probably would have been one of my, well, not in middle school because I went to a Christian middle school, but in high school, there were guys that would. Uh, How did that one hit not hit him? That is a fantastic question. Yeah, it's like it went right through him. <laughs> Sugar addict, hello. Why is Friar Tuck running around with a sword and shield? <laughs> that's because that's how Archbishop Turpin actually rolled in canon. <laughs> oh, this is how he rolled in canon. He didn't actually roll <laughs> in cannon, but you know. Yeah, we, we were inspired by the, the song of Roland for, for these guys. Yes. And, uh... and I was desperately trying to think of a name and character. It's like, that's the first one that popped to my mind. Because doesn't that happen to everybody? Oh, wait. Well, it, was, it was kind of funny is that if, if we were playing uh, Dark Souls 1, see, we were coming off the heels of our Resident Evil 4 uh, stream. So you're actually thinking of like Resident Evil 4 references. And there actually was like Leon here in Dark Souls One, so they're like we're trying to do that one, but but we we there nothing like that was in Dark Souls Two. Right. Like, oh well, now what are you gonna do? And I saved the day, kind of. <laughs> and yeah, Zane, that's exactly how I feel. It's like I don't necessarily you know mind people who swear, but I I'm trying to remember who said it. But the basic summation I have is that if you curse simply to fill the air. That tells me that your head has nothing else in it. <laughs> At that point, I think I am justified in saying, I don't think there's anything else you have to offer, and that's not a whole lot. And also, Vex, yes, Cowboy Bebop did have interesting characters and amazing music. 
Of course, my favorite character in there got like two scenes, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel so bad. This guy keeps bringing me back and I keep dying. <laughs> uh. And Zane, I could go on forever about Full Metal Alchemist, both anime series. <laughs> but yes, it ended on a wah. Especially the manga. <laughs> <laughs> Did did you ever watch uh, Brotherhood all the way through? I know Ben was what? a Ben was the biggest fan of. I the... had a T shirt for it, no right? Less. A T shirt. <laughs> and yeah, once I realized the uh, Brotherhood was going the same way as the manga, and I knew how that ended, right? I was like, no, 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 no. I am not even. Just making sure we're not going to get flanked again. Good. <laughs> the dog was in way more than two scenes. <laughs> yes, Vex. Uh, you found out my favorite character. <laughs> uh, Ayn, wasn't it? Uh, I honestly don't know. That wasn't actually my favorite character. <laughs> um, and Zane, I have to admit, for Attack on Titan, um, I can see why people like it. I really can. And I haven't seen enough of it to make me say one way or the other whether I'd be personally invested or not. But, especially from the synopses that I've read, I can definitely see that, you know, at least in my terms, it probably would just be overrated. Like, I have heard people think that, you know, Attack on Titan set the sun and moon and the stars, and suddenly it's like, you know, there isn't actually, it isn't actually that good. Yeah, exactly. It's in the big bin of Started Strong and then went nowhere. Mm -hmm. Which is really frustrating because they had a lot of ideas they could have used that decided not to go with them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was supposed to end poorly. Alright. <sighs> What's this guy decked out in? Looks like a lawn, a lawn chest... I like the flower design of the shield. That is a blossom kite shield, and it's a big gimmick is that it restores stamina. Ah. So kind of like the grass crest. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. What what bonfire level is this guy on? A lot higher than I would have expected. Yeah, let's uh let's put the Oh yeah, because we're actually playing a game and not just talking anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to assume he's taking care of the necromancers by now. That's not actually a... That's not a door. Oof. Crimmy, that's a lot of damage. Then again, you know, it's not actually going to kill you, so... Anyway, um... Because I feel like, uh... I never like ending a conversation on a down note. For oh. those of you who do have... Hulu or other means of uh, checking anime. I actually greatly recommend one called Ghost Hunt. I just, I found it absolutely amazing. So, and it is somewhat relevant to my interests. So, I would definitely recommend that to those of you who are on the lookout for an anime to at least try out. Oh, nice. The horse just planted that uh, skeleton. Mm -hmm. You know, Pyrie, uh, again, you can't see it, but I'm giving you a vigorous thumbs up for actually knowing what I'm talking about. Because it seems like nobody has, and I want to grab people and say, no, you need to watch this. And yeah, Zane, exactly. Uh, you know, the main character's best friend's like, oh, by the way, we totally broke down the wall and killed your mom. And yeah, it's just... yeah. Whew, I mean, this is intense. I, I would love to know what, what level this guy's actually on. It's definitely a lot higher than I would have expected. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of funny though with the Hade. Uh, I guess he, I guess he's weak to lightning because with the Hade spear plus ten, we're doing about as much damage as he is, yeah. which is a good sign, I think. You know, that we actually are uh, fairly well uh, optimized. 
So yeah, you are absolutely right about the hate spear. Praise the sun. Ooh. All right. Sayonara, Koden. Sorry about dying those first two times. <laughs> but hey, at least it worked out, and we finally have finally the, the token. token. Of yes. Yay. And now I can show you where the actual uh, pre-placed one is. Hooray. You know, to just uh, I guess have insurance. Uh, but it is. I'm sure we're not going to get ambushed here. Okay. Okay. It is right down there. See that glowy? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, the idea that typically, whenever you make a running jump like that, you'll roll. Excuse me. <laughs> when you, normally, when you land, you roll forward, which will send you careening right off the edge. That's what I was thinking. However, yeah. you do a punching ah, attack. Ah, interesting. And there we are. Psychopass is pretty broadly liked. I honestly have heard nothing about it. Um, so... I don't even know what it's about, I'll be honest. <laughs> they never heard of it. Alright, so let us explore here. And there's another good uh, dex weapon here too. Uh, along with a couple... Along with a couple of enemies. Yeah, there we are. I bet I could probably use the binoculars and kill that guy. Or a bow. Or a bow. <laughs> you uh, do have it. Freaking um, freaking Ben is freaking bows. <laughs> I'm hey, you get force, I get the bow. Which has been more useful? <laughs> I rest my case. And Zane, I have to admit, I'm kind of liking how um how our anime taste and manga taste. I guess the broadly, you know, Japanese entertainment taste, whatever, <laughs> uh, seems to run pretty well together. Because, yeah, I did kind of like Scryde. Um, oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Even though I think the manga, oh. I will never forgive them for how they handled Straight Cougar at the end. Just now. <laughs> um, and yeah, Code Geass. Epi season one was fantastic. Season two had the stupid Pope hat. <laughs> I will never be able to get over that. <laughs> what is that down there? Oh, that's a giant uh, basilisk. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I need to find out where the other... Uh, where the butterfly is. One cool thing is you can see the guy with the torch up there. Uh -huh. This is the very. This is the same chamber we come through at the at the start. Huh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's got to be a butterfly up there we can't see. Now, now here's my question. Is there... There used to be one of those torturer guys. Right. Um, and, Zane, that's why I uh, deliberately didn't explain how. Because I would recommend finishing it. Just, you know, at least for my case, be prepared for a bit of teeth gnashing. You know what you were saying? Oh, I was just trying to say, originally there was a torturer type enemy uh, down there. And I don't see him. I just see the big uh, basilisk. All right. Which I think we can take one of them. So let's uh, load up for load for bear. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this. Let's see how this plays out. Also, Pyre, I have never heard of Ju Osei. Uh, what is that, and what is it about? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. I guess he's in water. Right. Well, yeah, you are in water. Yeah. It does seem like lightning seems to have a bit of an edge over pyromancy in a lot of these fights. Yeah, yeah. One cool thing about these guys is that if you can bait a one of their big swings, or especially the breath, they, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can take a lot out of them. Oh, there he is! Aha! Womp. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, she, yeah, I better say, I knew some more of the stuff should have dropped. Oh, look at that. They must have clipped, clipped through and fallen into the. Huh. 
fallen all the way through the through the world. That's frustrating. Well, this would have been poison moss anyway, but even still. But yes, that's what we came here for. Wow, crits right here. It is a very good uh, dex a scaling weapon. <laughs> so fast paced, I don't know if I can really describe if I'm being deceptive or giving spoilers. <laughs> well, in that case, I will actually let me make a note of that now so I don't forget. Mm -hmm. You will say. And this will take because it. if it's 11 episodes, that isn't too long. Yeah, not how much of a demand on your time. And this will take us into the uh, the house full of uh, thieves that from earlier, because there was that one way uh, passage. You remember that incredibly obvious secret door? Yeah, you have to get. It's a one way. Ah, I see. Okay. Actually, there let's uh, take advantage of this to put the covetous ring on. And yeah, uh, Zabuzo was definitely a high point of Naruto. Um, what has the attention is One Punch Man. I, I've heard of that. <laughs> yeah. So overpowered, nothing's a threat that all populations do, but I but like I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Empire explains uh Juose as Dune but on a jungle planet. Huh. I can I can kinda of see that. <laughs> I assume you mean Dune One, right? The the one everybody likes. <laughs> I do feel kind of bad because I got into the series, and by that I mean the one book with Heretics of Dune, which apparently shouldn't even be considered as part of a right. <laughs> but it's the only one my library had, so. <laughs> so when people are as people are telling you, well, what's up with the series, and you have to look into it, then you do what you need to do, what you can. Yep. I do what I am able. All right, we are still a bell bro, so let me put that ring back on. See if we can get any more. PvP before we have to switch. So the big problem with the the Rat Covenant is that the uh, basically the first one is like available right at the beginning of the game. The second one is like a third of the way through it. So there, there's so much you know overlap and soul memory. You know it's hard to find people willing to do it. Right. All right. I believe if you I believe the closer you are, the more likely you are to get pulled in. So, so head over here real quick. So, anything else you think we should do before we wrap it up tonight? Um, honestly, I was kind of fine with leaving it as it was. So yeah. I guess you could do some uh, bell cupping in just to fill in the uh, the space uh -huh. if you want. Try to get some goodies. Yeah. Yeah, let me, if it is even possible, let me get some better spells. Right. Uh, we want force, and we want... Actually, heal is good. Maybe... Yeah. Magic very tough to go wrong with that. Of course, I also feel a little bad because I haven't gotten a chance to read any uh, like substantial literary works for a little while because I've been reading some of the indie books that has just completely devoured all of my attention. <laughs> Pyre, I was reverse invaded by Right Covenant, got destroyed, joined Right Covenant, reverse invaded somebody, got destroyed, gave up on the whole thing. <laughs> I kind of feel that's how my experience would be if I tried to go for it. <laughs> well, it looks like you know things are going to be pretty thin on the ground. Oh, so in that case, let's go join. Uh, let's join up with Targray, huh? So we're going to the Cathedral of Blue, and I guess we might as well uh, join real quick first. You know, see if see what we get. Yeah, it's true. We can see if there's any sinners to to uh, go after. Anything by Clive Barker, anything by Zane. Not saying I'm the best writer, but I'm the best writer. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that is a shame that you know, you haven't had time to write. That's one thing that I found. You know, I'm a writer myself. 
but I have so much going on that ah, it's just slow going. Hmm. That said, the one thing that I've read from Clive Barker, I think it was audiobook, was Cold Heart Canyon. And that was weird. That was just weird and trippy. So, I'm not sure if it's actually you know, representative of his usual works, but it's just kind of like, huh, hmm. what did I just hear? Because it was audiobooks. So. Right, right. A new honor. You are no longer a mere Under covenant. You are we are no longer a mere vagabond. vagabond. Yay! <laughs> Proud knight, take this. He gives us. Yeah, I think that's the. I think we have to have that equipped shine to light upon shine light upon stone. Yeah. The voices of the blue apostles. Yeah, assuming he means using a cracked. Uh, oh, yeah, if you have that equipped, you can get pulled in to help out a way of blue member if they're invaded. And then, yeah. And then you can use a cracked blue white orb to try to invade a center. Hmm. Oh, Zane, that is the worst. When you can't remember the track you were going on. It's like, I have been there, I know exactly how you feel. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I, I forgot he solves this, too. If you can send a message with your email or something in the chat, I will send you one so I can get in contact with you. Because, yeah, I, I am always up for uh, you know, speaking with my fellow writer bros. <laughs> I think the term would be. <laughs> No, I'm willing to bet that the most likely place to find a sinner is going to be in the Huntsman's Coves. So, let's give that a try. Seems like Finding it. sinners. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like something Turpin would do. Yep. Uh, yes, or you know, any other way you think would work. <laughs> you can't see me kind of flittling my hands a little bit, but... It's uh, almost 10.50 and my brain is not working on me. <laughs> working for me, rather. It's not working at all. It's not working at all at this point. Attempt to invade the world of the guilty. On the bright side is it'll tell us immediately. Yeah, it'll tell us immediately if there's nobody eligible uh, there. Well, the next best place would probably be Iron... A good, good old uh, PvP city. So yeah, Iron Keep and the first one. You get, you could uh, mention your Twitter thing to him. True. Uh, yes, Zane. If you are on Twitter, you can send a message to at Ben Spurlock. Oh. If you have Facebook, I am Ben J Spurlock on there. Um, any way that you can. Uh, oh, there we go. Ha ha. Nice. Got him there. I will send an email to you before I forget, because obviously whenever the chat closes, it wipes it out. Hmm. I don't want to end up like Sway did and uh, miss that information entirely. I wonder why I can't use a crack to orb here. Oh, it's because of the effigy uh, effect. What my human effigies affect right now? Huh. I also have to... Uh, yeah, it wouldn't really be worth it. I had means... to bite my tongue a little bit, because usually when I'm writing something down, I repeat it out loud to make sure that I've got it, which would have completely obviated the point of doing it that way. <laughs> Thankfully, I managed to uh, prevent myself from doing that. There you go. <laughs> Him to invade. Nope. Okay. Yeah, probably, probably not too many people uh, out tonight. It might be something you'll probably be shocked to see. What? You can't see me clutching my proverbial <laughs> pearls, but... <laughs> this is my shocked face. That's by an Uchi, you know, why not? I'm prepared to gasp in shock. My glasses will fly right off my face. That's <laughs> uh, by... Yeah. 
what was I going to... Was something I was going to upgrade. Oh, the yeah, recurring. exactly my thought, Zane. It's like, you know, when it's social media things, you know, that's fine, whatever. Emails, that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do you think we should use uh, Ricard's rapier to stick with the regular uh, rapier? Um, let's check the difference between the two. We do have enough decks for the... Uh... Yeah, it looks like the rapier, Ricard's rapier is going to be a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, the deck scaling is better, the yeah. base damage is a little bit lower, and it relies a lot more on getting the... Uh, getting, getting basically getting a lot of hits in. Hmm. I'd say we should at least try it out. Okay. I mean, it sounds like it could be fun. All right. Looks like I need to buy some regular Titanite, which he doesn't sell. So you have to go back to Chloe in. And Zane, the only problem with that is that if um, if Wayne hasn't written it down somewhere, he's probably oh. forgotten. What is this? We are invading as an Arbiter spirit. Ooh. Where the heck? Bronco. Zontatsu, hey. Lots of hits. Alright. Uh, let's see, where is the, uh, where's our target at? Ah, there we are. Oh, probably wants to get out of the line of fire of all the, uh, these Elan Knights. Indeed. Yeah, I'd probably be doing exactly the same way myself. Oh, did he not even see you coming? Oh, he probably did. He just wanted to. You see, if I ducked around the corner, try to ambush me. Ah. Hmm. Ah, there we are. I actually could have seen it as a little bit clever if he had ducked behind the ballista. Are we gonna do this? Oh, it's probably another Alon Knight to kill. It's nothing too big or bad, just like silly. Ah, I see. I must admit, part of me does actually want to start uh, trying out the decapitation thing for PvP to see how people react. I wonder if he thinks he's, I've got a Wrath of the Gods. Wow, you're a blue phantom. What a rare situation. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Almost. Ah, freaking stunlock. Oh, <laughs> and down. Yeah, I did not handle that one pretty well. Interesting the fact that uh, I didn't realize you could roll through four so, so easily. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is he should be uh, getting flinched or knocked down, but no. But no, yeah. yeah. I was wondering what was going on, because like, you were constantly <laughs> flinging around and it didn't seem to matter at all. Right. Ah, uh, well. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, there it does remind me that, in as far as Iron Keep goes, that there are. Um, I guess you want to go back to Majula first and get. Uh, is using Pyromancy against our theme, or is that okay? Oh, you can. Yeah, you can do whatever. Okay, I will go grab uh, Flash uh, Sweat, mm -hmm. and let's go grab some of the goodies on the fire we didn't get to last time. Fair enough. I would imagine, especially the buffs. You know, that's entirely fine. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I guess it is better than giving her the invisible aura set and then uh, giving her clothing. Right. But, uh, oh, there you are. I do feel a little bad for her. <laughs> I guess one thing it could do is just go ahead and give her a like one of those full face concealing helmets. And you can't see, you know, that sure uh, you don't have anything. All right, we want. Yeah, she sells the the rings. Oh, well, the basic rings aren't very good. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They're only two thousand each. 
at the uh, we want one or two of those for temporary fire resistance. I'm not gonna need the any fire seeds. So we're not actually attacking with them. Right. Uh, it, no poison is a very effective strategy, but it's it's kind of abusive. So right. many things are weak to it. So let's just do flash, and it's probably all we're gonna need. We could do the iron skin one if you want. Or it, iron flash. Okay, this is something kind of kind of funny that I that can uh, relate to you guys. Part of the reason why iron flash is so bad is the fact that when you cast it, the idea is you get, I think you get like plus 100 poise from it, which sounds really good. The problem is not only is the poise formula completely screw, screwy in, uh, in Dark Souls 2, but how it's set up is that if, you're, if your poise needs to increase for some reason, it, it increases at an incredibly low rate. It's like one point of poise per two seconds or something, something like that. And so you actually have to fill up that poise before you get to use it. Huh. Yeah, exactly. It makes no sense. You have to get poise broken before your armor, armor flesh poise actually kicks in. At that point, you're probably dead because of how little, how, how little uh, defense is worth anything in this game. Wait, so you have to have your poise broken before you get poise? Uh, before, before you can, before you get the, before you get your poise. So whenever your poise is uh, broken, mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you recover, it resets back to the full amount. Right. Then you get the full benefit from it. Oh, Otherwise, uh... it has to fill up, and it, and it won't before it expires. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Yep. Uh, flash uh, sweat is, I think, forty percent fire resistance. So it's much better than the fifteen. I want to say that you get from. Uh, uh, the magic barrier, yeah. And let's go ahead and grab the highest uh, flame defense we've got. It's probably going to be. We have 33 on the on that. Pretty up and girl. That's pretty good. Uh, probably, probably the Elon stuff is going to be up there. Uh, then girl said isn't bad for fire. Actually, it's kind of surprising. Huh. Looks like Elon gauntlets are going to be the best there. And pants. How about the pants? Uh, Alon is 28. It's 21 and 1 encumbrous as much. Okay. And yeah, the funny thing is, we actually don't look all that goofy. Yeah. It's not, not terrible. Okay, we're probably going to die getting this one, but uh, let's see how much fire we're taking. That's... Hmm. It's still kind of bad. Yeah. I will get there, I just don't think we'll make it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drink Estus faster than it burns you. Uh, how about the Greater Replenishment? Uh, you can't have more than one buff at a time. Ah. Yeah, you could originally, but... That's, uh, that's kind of a shame. Yep. Yeah, originally you could just stack as many buffs as you wanted, and they they uh, put into that little red wagon. Alright. There is one way over there. We're probably going to need to break the urns to get to that one. And excellent. Now that I know that I have your email address, we can exchange it later because I need to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I still have work tomorrow, and you know I do not regret staying up, but I cannot stay up too much longer. Mm. So I will leave the rest in Wayne's capable hands. It's not like you have a whole lot to uh, oh. planned on the agenda for today, anyway. I think. Right. And then probably on Sunday we'll be streaming again, right? Yeah, that, that'll, probably, that'll probably be the one. Because we'll be busy on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Right. So hopefully I will see you all on Sunday. If not, I will see you on Tuesday. And I will definitely be looking forward to it. Alright. Oh, and one more friend. Yeah, we definitely need more uh, more poise there. More Alon gear. It should sell for pretty well whenever we finally find... Uh, uh, I almost said Fencarl. When we finally find Gavlon. Yep, and you as well, Zane. Is there a dude here? There is not. Okay. Make sure we're, we're all... Well, make sure we're all wet. Oh, I don't think we are, actually. There we are, okay. Alright, this this first one is kind of weird because you have, like, uh... <laughs> Alright, good night, man. You have, like, uh, a bunch of these little lava 
platforms to get past. And some of them, some of them are lit, and some of them aren't. Like some of them are safe. So it's just, uh, just really weird. So let's uh, stack the flash sweat with that. Arg. Ah, mm. uh, <laughs> that's not the way I was facing when I clicked the stick. Well, I think I will just forego trying to use the water there, because I don't think I'll need it with how, with how much HP we have. So let's just try to get our souls back, which are down there now, of course. Okay. That's what... Hmm. I don't even remember what's over there. It's a funny thing. <laughs> Let's give it a couple more tries, and then... So it looks like you have to take a running start and then angle left, which... So how about that, how about that Souls platforming, uh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to emphasize the Kaizo Souls aspect of it because this is kind of silly platforming. Oh yeah, the funny thing is this was in the base game. This isn't a scholar thing. Oh, even still. Yeah. All right. Take uh, four now, I think. Kind of nervous about losing the 14,000 uh, souls. <laughs> At least that worked that time. Okay, there we go. Ah, bonfire aesthetics. That's not bad. Yeah, definitely worth more than fifteen thousand. There's no way you're gonna make it back, or at least no way I'm not going. No way I'm going to. That leaves us with one left. The the last bonfire in Iron Keep. No, the second, the second one. Yeah. Uh, there is the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we want Flash, and we want another Lightning Spear, I think. So we have a bunch of enemies to deal with. Oh. Hey, I'll take it. I definitely don't mind starting the, uh, starting the fight. Yeah, that, that Leo ring, the counter damage kind of makes it worth trying to uh, turtle poke. And the wake up call for you. Oh. <laughs> all right. The, uh, the turtles can drop all kinds of upgrade materials. So I'm definitely trying to keep the uh, the covetous ring on for them. I remember you being a problem. And, oh, gotta love it. One hit kill. Dunk the other guys. I think that brings down an archer up there. If I remember right. Yep. By the numbers so far. Yeah. I should have remembered I wanted to kill that guy in melee if I could. Uh, what about you? 
how much I can do with them. Okay, so I think what I need to do is get is uh, get soaked. Uh, flash sweat here. All right. Now, what I how I always did this. I'm sorry, we actually don't need to go up top this time. Plunging attack. Okay. Now, with with the water and... Yeah, see, we're taking very little damage uh, from this now. Um, all right. Another Estus. If either one of these wears off, then we're kind of screwed. Okay, Chaos Storm. So that's what it was. It's a Pyromancy. So not a whole lot of use to good old uh, Turpin, actually, but... That uh, that worked out nicely. May even get a chance to get an Alon uh, Great Bow here, but uh, no drop. Okay. Well, that's all right. Uh, let's top off at the bonfire. I think we're done with uh, with Flash Sweat now, so I can just. Sw uh, spec out to some more useful spells. All right, we got that. Let's just do. Actually, we, we want some. Oh, let's try our new spell. Yeah. I don't remember a thing about what Heavenly Thunder does, so this will this will be interesting. All right. Like I, like I keep mentioning, always, you know, charge up the spell uh, while you're moving toward the enemies. Oh. Well, that's no fun. Alright. Yeah, we better have the shield handy, but we want to have the weapon ready uh, for this guy. Alright, like so. Uh, we also now 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 uh, we've gone this way a couple times. This is the first time we're actually going to go up that ladder all the way down the back. And I'm thinking about trying to make a play for the Alon Great Bow here. So let us see what we can do. Hmm. Forget about the range and accuracy on those uh, captains, man. He will snipe you. The two-handed R2 being a one-shot on these guys, tremendously helpful. Oh, not enough. I thought I had, I thought I had, thought it would have been enough to finish him, but not quite. Okay. Oh, that one that was almost uh, that was a, almost a close one. Okay. Yeah, I guess the drop rate on those great bows are just a little too rare. But it is up here we want to go. Try to get out of the crossfire of two different uh, archers. And there used to be a chest there. Interesting. Wonder where. It w oh ho! Two of them. All right. What about you? Oh, he's back in the way. Good. 
Are you going to try to get across into... Ah. I was hoping in the diagonal uh, walking he was doing, he would have ended up... Oh, he's guarding that chest. I was hoping he would have ended up walking off the, the edge. Oliver the Collector? What is this? Interesting. What is going on with you? It is a Santir Spear. Not sure what the... So we got a... We didn't let me finish uh, the Estus there. Alright, let's get some distance. Now, I recognize that from the DLC as a Puzzling Stone Sword, I believe. Alright, got him. Wow, so I guess he just... I guess that was just a dude with a bunch of rare weapons coming to show them off and try to kill you with. Huh. I'm definitely thinking a Covenant of Champions, uh, Dark Scholar of the First Sin run, would be easier to get those awe stones because of just how many more... NPC invaders there are. Okay, that's still destructive great arrows. I don't remember which patch it was, but one of them just made them the stronger version of regular great arrows. It's like, yeah, they may do more equipment damage, they may not, but they do more base damage now, which, you know, that's, what it, that's all anybody cares about. Okay. The three, are we still dealing with the lawn captains? We've got one, two, three, yep. So this, so this hasn't changed. Ah, that sucked. Obviously, you want to thin the herd a bit before you try to fight. Before you try to fight these guys for real. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What is this one? Is this the one that sends like a column of lightning ahead of you? Oh, it sends it striking around you. Okay. Let's go for it. Great heroes. Okay. We know that since they do purely physical damage, they're basically no threat to us. I want him to knock another arrow, and then run up for my backstab. I said I run up for my backstab. Ah, that's one of the most annoying glitches I've run into with these guys. If the camera isn't facing exactly the right way, it just won't let you backstab them. So clearly, there's some there's some issues with oh the captain armor. That's one of the few pieces that's actually different. 30 fire arrows, very nice. Okay, that's not the mimic either. A black knight great axe, okay. So so most of the stuff is still the same. Now there's that guy in the pyromancer hood again. And last but not least, we still have something on the lip of the cauldron, and looks like we do. Yeah, see that guy lying in wait? <laughs> uh, I believe you basically line up right up to the edge. Because, yeah, the chain isn't actually there. Get right up there. Now, at this point, you can you can hop off. And uh, and go back to the go back to the next bonfire as usual. This is actually the alternate route. Since we've already gone that way, I'm not going to take a chance with all these souls 
and just peace. Alrighty. Well, with all that bonus stuff explored and and all that good stuff and a bunch of souls to upgrade and level next time, I think I will call it a night as well. So, good night, everybody, and thanks for uh, thanks for watching watching Ben and the couple of you that stuck around to watch me bumble around and explore stuff. <laughs> so, uh, good night, and we will see you yeah on uh, Sunday as a plan.